It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wawrinick. Welcome to a special Tuesday night edition of the News 8 Highlight Zone. Let's begin on the ice. For the second straight year, West Salem, Bangor, Aquinas Co-op, and Onalaska boys all playing in the sectional semifinal round. Onalaska, the one to survive and advance to state last season. Hilltoppers tonight facing Reedsburg. First period action. Reedsburg's Dylan Brown finds top shelf, and that puts his team on the board first. Now to the second period, Reedsburg on the tack again. This time, Brown doing the passing. He finds Chris Jones, who beats goalie. 2-0 the score. So time winding down now, same score in the third period. Empty net for the Hilltoppers. Jacob Dirks controls the rebound off the post and scores. So it's a 2-1 game. Hilltoppers now on the power play for the final minute of play but they are unable to find that score to equal the game. Reedsburg Co-op hangs on to beat on Alaska 2-1. 1-C West Salem Bangor hosting Aquinas Co-op. Second period, Abs are down by one. Ryan Wing attempting a penalty shot, but goalie Mitch Hammes will have nothing of that. Makes the save, still 2-1. Third period, Abs now trail by two. Cody Dirks on the breakaway, he finds top shelf. It's now again a one score game. Avs pull the goalie, trying to tie the game up then. West Salem Bangor forcing the turnover. The Avs player throwing a stick at the puck and that results in a game ceiling goal for the Panthers. West Salem wins it four to two. So they'll play Reedsburg Saturday with a trip to state on the line. On Alaska Co-op girls see their season come to an end losing three to one at Sun Prairie. And first round of the Minnesota Boys Tournament, La Crescent and Winona both fall on the road. Finishing 5-9, and nine, the conference regular season did not go the way UW Lacrosse had hoped after winning the WIAC men's basketball title last season. The good news, they're in the conference tournament and one of six teams still alive for that automatic NCAA berth. First round of the WIAC tourney, UWL at UW Eau Claire. Ben Minos had himself a first half. Step back jumper goes down. They lead by five early. Then he gets the steal. Coast to coast for a two-handed slam. He puts in 20 before intermission. To the second half, Zach Schradel goes to work. Nice move in the post. Finishes with the left. Eagles up seven, under 10 to play. But here come the Blue Golds. George Diekelman off the steal. Basket plus the whistle. They get as close to as four points, but UWL strong on the road tonight. Austin Fritz, spin move and floater. That's good. UW Lacrosse moving on with a 76-66 win. Eagles now get a trip to River Falls on Thursday in the WIAC semifinal round. I'm really proud of the way our guys fought. Hats off to Oakley, they're a great team. And coming in here and getting a W just it means a lot. We gotta keep it going. We've battled really tough on the road throughout this whole year, so I mean I think I think we play better on the road. We like the hostile atmosphere and we're gonna we're gonna try and keep it rolling. I thought our guys came out and did a really nice job. We talked about a few things. Being alert, I thought we were. Uh, executing, I thought we did a pretty good job and playing with pretty with effort, and I thought we were really solid in that area. So uh, it was one of our more complete games, and that's what you have to have to move on at, at this time of the year. I have to call a timeout. First round highlights of the WIAA girls basketball playoffs are coming up when the News 8 Highlight Zone returns. Welcome back. WIAA girls basketball playoffs begin tonight. Top seeds in divisions one through four get to enjoy a couple of more days of rest. Logan. At home against Ashland, winner travels to Menominee. Rangers down at the half, but here they come. Sydney Adams drives and finishes in traffic. 39-37, Logan now with the lead. Back and forth we go. Claire Borsheim in transition off the glass and good. Now up by one. Time running down. Rangers up three. Lexi St. Germain. Bank is open tonight. We go to overtime. In the extra session, Logan not ready for the season to end. Jenna Davis, strong drive and basket. What a way to start the postseason. Logan, an overtime winner, 56 to 52. Top seed on Alaska will host the winner of this game later in the week. Central hosting Sparta, second half. Ashley LaRue to Sophie Leinfelder. She buries the triple. Red Raiders up 11. Spartans hang around. Allie Loffenberg pulls up in transition. Jumper is good. She has 10 points on the night. But Central answers Emily. Secord rebound and put back, extends their lead to 13. Then off the inbound play, Rachel Peterson to Abby Athnos. Wide open for an easy two. Central, they're moving on. They win at 52 to 38. 
Moving to Division 3, Arcadia is a 7 seed, hosting Mauston. Second half, Arcadia on a roll. The freshman, Lindsey Sendelbach, goes to work inside. 38-24, Arcadia leads. A couple buckets later, Sendelbach out to Hannah Sukla. Nothing but nylon for her. Extends the lead, 42-26. Mauston gets a shot now. Here it's Kelsey Georgeson, quick cut inside. Lays it in for two, but Arcadia puts this one away. Sendelbach gets it tipped, but Tracy Cutler's right there to back up. Gets the bucket and foul. Arcadia winning by 17. Next up for the Raiders, a trip to Elk Mound. Also in D3, Black River Falls beats Maroka 63-45, and Prairie Deschen falls at River Valley. Division 4 action, Nesita 60, Whitehall 23, and Luther loses at Boscobel. In Division 5, Bangor is a top seed, and at 19-3, ranked number 4 in the state. Cardinals open up postseason play, hosting Weston. Bangor on the board right away. Aliyah Fortier catches it in the corner. She's pure from deep, early 3-0 lead. Later on, Elizabeth Nikolai takes it away, and she goes all the way for two. It's a 14-0 lead. Cardinals not letting up. Ashley Lockington jumps the pass. She has a clear path to the basket. No problems for Bangor tonight. They win 91-13. Six players scoring in double figures for them. Next up is Oliva Strum. They beat Emmanuel tonight by five. Dairyland Foes meeting as Alma Pepin travels to Independence. Indies winning their two regular season meetings. And Indy strikes first. Danielle Warner splitting defenders. Makes the lay in for two. Next Indy possession. Warner dishes it to Lindsay Tushner. Short corner jumper is good. Later on in the half, Alma Pepin's Breland Brecka falling away from the hoop. Gets the first points on the board for them tonight. And Independence wins this one 55-27. They'll travel to Augusta. They beat Gilmanton 59-24. Scenic Bluff showdown between Cashton and Royal. Eagles swept the season series, but they only won by an average of 3.5 points per game. In those two, second half, Royal down 14, forced to rally. Lauren Miller catches the high-low pass and puts it in for two. A few possessions later, Rachel Smith steps out, knocks down the mid-range jumper. A 15-4 Royal run gets them within two. Cashton answers. Check it out. Lexi Schrader saving the loose ball, and the hustle pays off. Avery Butzler left wide open for the layup. Next possession, Butzler again gets it inside. Hoop and harm for her. A little more breathing room this time around as Cashton wins 40-29. to They will travel to Blair Taylor next as the Wildcats win tonight 49-12. More D5 results. Hillsboro winning big. Lincoln an 11-point winner tonight. Seneca beats Lafarge by 15. DeSoto loses in overtime. Wazika Steuben an opening round winner. North Crawford seeing their season come to an end. And both Ithaca and Kickapoo lose on the road.